my channel. Today's video is going to be my July favorites, which I'm pretty depressed because summer is my favorite season, so yeah. I don't want to let it go. So before we get started, I have a quick little announcement and question. Nothing boring, I promise. The announcement is that I'm on Snapchat. If you didn't see, I announced it on Instagram and Twitter. It's just at Amanda and Sing. I love the snaps you guys sent me. Seriously, they're amazing. And I try to open as many as I can. And I know I've snapped some of you guys back. So send me Snapchats. I love seeing them. And you might even get a Snapchat back. So I've been thinking about this for the past year. And I really want to start a vlogging channel where I do my fitness, um, some lifestyle, like fun videos, like fun tag videos, maybe follow me around type of stuff. The only hesitation I have is, are you guys going to watch the videos and what should I name the channel? I wanted something short and cute, something to do with Amanda, probably. I can't think of anything to name the channel, so let me know in the comments what you think would be cute. I would love to share more of my personal life and more of my personal side with you guys, so I think that would be a great way to do it, so let me know in the comments what you think, and let's go ahead and get started with my favorite. So let's start with face. First, I have a foundation, and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This has been my perfect nighttime summer foundation. It's full coverage, keeps me matte, and it lasts until I take it off. It also has a low SPF. It's an SPF of 10, so it's not going to cause a lot of white flashback in photography at nighttime because when I'm out with my friends, I'm pretty much going to take pictures if my makeup looks good, and we're like, oh yeah, girl, like, you know, taking pictures at nighttime. And I love this because it just lasts all night long, and I've been wanting a full coverage foundation at nighttime recently because my skin has been freaking out the past two months. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's something in my skincare or makeup that's breaking me out. And the little pump that's on it is from MAC. My friend Casey recommended that I get this because she has it on hers and it makes it so much easier. I hate when foundations don't have a pump, so I've been loving the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Next, I've been loving the Sigma F84 Angled Kabuki Brush. I have used this so much in the past for contouring. Cream contours, it's amazing with. But this month, I've been using it for foundation and it is heaven on your face. It's round and angled, which makes it so fluffy, like it feels so soft when you're buffing out your foundation. And I like to kind of pat and then buff a little bit, like patting it first to distribute the product. And I love this, it's so soft. I like the angle because it's good to get in little places around your face. I love these Sigma Sigmax brushes, you guys know this, so there's not much I can say about it except for it's amazing for foundation or even cream products to contour or for blush. I've also been loving the MAC 182 Kabuki brush. This is a limited edition version of it, but it is a permanent product. It's just like, I think the handle is a little bit different. And the funny story behind this brush is that when Casey Holmes came to visit me, we went to my CCO and they had this so it was on sale and I was like oh my gosh it's so soft but I already bought too much makeup so Casey's like I'm getting it and I was like all right girl so we go to check out and she's like can I have another one of those I need a backup and I'm like why would you need a backup of this brush like do you like it that much so we get in the car and she's like here you go thanks for inviting me and I was like Oh my god, thank you. I was like, I hate you. I hate when people spend money on me, so I was like, you should not have bought this. But I love it, and I love you, Casey. Thank you. But I've been using it for like bronzer around the hairline because it's so soft and it really just buffs out the product. This would also be a good brush for powder foundation if you like to wear powders. Moving on to cheek products. First, I have a mineralized skin finish from MAC. This is in the shade Global Glow. Now, I got this a few weeks ago when they first came out, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's a dark champagne color with like hints of beige in it and it's got a lot of sheen to it So it just makes your cheeks glow. This would be a perfect highlight for those of you who are tan to dark skin tones I use it more as like a bronzy sheen color I kind of dust it right over my blush and I love the formula of these skin finishes because they're so silky smooth And they just look like your skin. So this is called global glow from Mac 
Another highlighting product I have been loving is from a brand called Galactic. This is their Face Glow in the shade Natural. This is a newer brand for me. I was introduced to them last month and I've been loving all of their products. This is more of like a beigey tinge to it, so it's more of like an ivory shade. Not really gold, not really bronzy. And this reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders because it just looks so natural on the face. So for those of you who want a highlight but you don't want anything more extreme like I have on or if you want something more natural this would be your perfect go-to shade. I would say this would work from anyone from fair all the way up to medium skin tones. Darker than that it might get a little bit ashy but I love this because it's just so natural on the skin. No kind of crazy glow. If you have oily skin you would love this product because it's not going to make you look oily. It's not too intense. It's just going to make you like glow and you'll look stunning. So this is called natural Face Glow by Galactic. If you've watched any of my tutorials this month, you know I've been loving the Makeup Forever Cream Blush in the shade 225. This is the perfect color between a pink and a coral. Great for everyday wear. I love this formula because it's so user friendly. I feel like a lot of times people get scared of cream blushes because sometimes they're hard to work with or they make you oily or they slip and slide. This one is just perfect. I love to use it with a little small stippling brush and I'll put it on the cheeks and it's that perfect medium between pink and coral. Even if you're oily, you can rock this product. I get super oily during the summer and I've had no problems with it. So I've been loving this blush from Makeup Forever in 225 and a blush I've been loving to apply right over it, I know I did I think maybe in my get ready video, is this Makeup Geek blush in the shade Smitten. It's a very light, pale, like peachy color and I love it over the Makeup Forever blush because it just makes it look like a little bit more orange and just kind of amps up the color and sets it. So beautiful. Makeup Geek blushes are so pigmented. I have a whole video with swatches on all the blushes if you guys are interested. And this one again is in the shade Smitten. Next I have a palette from Tarte. This is from their new Rainforest collection. Like how cool is that? And this is called their Rainforest After Dark palette. Like could you die? It is absolutely stunning. Perfect neutral colors. You have your blush, bronzer highlight and then some eyeshadows. It has their famous Park Avenue Princess bronzer in here which I know a lot of people love and then you just have a beautiful array of brown and gold and purple which as fall comes purple is huge and burgundy tones and then the blush in the middle has more of a mauve undertone perfect for fall. I think this palette is gorgeous. If you guys want me to do a tutorial with it I will be more than happy because it is stunning and I love their Amazonian clay formula because it does not budge and it lasts all day. Moving on to lippies, which you guys know is my absolute favorite. First, I have a lip liner for MAC. This is in the color Spice. I use this in my Kylie Jenner tutorial. I've been loving it under nude lip colors. It's that perfect brown with a little bit of a peach undertone. So if you're warm tone, you're going to love this. If you have any olive or yellow in your skin, you're going to love this lip liner. If you're more on the pink side, it's going to pull a little bit more pink. But it's just beautiful because it adds definition and I cannot wear a nude lipstick without a lip liner because it just makes me look super dead. This is gorgeous and it's going to be beautiful for fall. This is again Spice from MAC. Next thing I've been loving is this lipstick from Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Poise and it is a beautiful nude color. I've been loving this with Spice. It's a brown nude with almost like a little bit of like a peachy cappuccino tinge to it. And it's one of those nudes that doesn't have a whole lot of color to it. It's more like on the flesh tone side. But it doesn't make you look dead. Am I making any sense here? The formula is so creamy. It reminds me of like MAC or Lime Crime lipsticks. It's creamy and it smells kind of like vanilla which I love. I love the way MAC lipstick smells. So if you're looking for a good nude lipstick, Poise from Dose of Colors. Next, I've been loving this matte lip stain in the shade Strawberry Kissed. This is from the Sephora collection. And I've had this for like probably a year and a half. And I wore it a few times this month and I was like, why do I not wear this more? It's a beautiful strawberry red color. It's not 
true red it's got a little bit of like a fuchsia in there and it reminds me a lot formula wise of the lime crime velveteens which are amazing in staying power this lasts through drinking and eating does not budge it's pretty affordable cheaper than like other long wearing lip stains you'll find at sephora and uh, i just love this i feel like this is that one gem from the sephora collection because i don't tend to use a lot of sephora collection stuff but this is like i think their best product. Next is this OCC Stained Lip Tar in the shade Meta, Meta, M-E-T-A, and I got this last May, and I always pull it out during summer because it's like a neon pink, orange, and red, like, all swirled together, and it's just, like, such a neon color. Like, it's very fluorescent, and I put some of this over Candy Yum Yum from MAC, and it just amps up pinks. I love it over red colors or, like, watermelon pink colors. It's supposed to look like a stained glass kind of effect, like, if you've seen those, like, stained glass art, which it does kind of remind me of that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is my favorite from that collection. And again, this is Meta. So down to my last lippy. This is a new product from Gerard Cosmetics and also new packaging. This is their new lip gloss in the shade Wild Orchid. And can you just look at this color? Like purple is all the rage right now. And look at this gloss. And this is their new packaging. It still has the mirror on it. And then it has like the GC for Gerard Cosmetics. I quite like it. It kind of reminds me of like YSL. But I'm going to show you how pigmented these are. They still have the little mirror. But this is one swipe. Like do you see that? Like look how crazy pigmented that is. And I like that they don't really have a smell or a taste. I love these lip glosses. The Nude and Coral Craze are my absolute favorite. So I wanted to show this one because it's so fun for summertime. And absolutely gorgeous. So this is Wild Orchid from Gerard Cosmetics. So my last product is an accessory and it's something you've seen if you follow me on Instagram. And they are these sunglasses from Dolce & Gabbana. I bought these a few months ago and they're kind of like a Ray-Ban like Wayfair kind of deal but a little bit more glamorous in my opinion. Oh, these are awesome during filming. Like, these lights are so bright. Like, I could... What if I just film like this? I love the frame. I think they're really flattering. And then on the inside, they have flowers. Super cute. I love these. And they're so comfortable. Probably the most comfortable sunglasses I've ever worn. But I've been getting a lot of questions whenever I post this. I've gotten a lot of emails. So these are from Dolce & Gabbana. Fendi and Madonna. So those are all of my favorites for the month. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Let me know in the comments again what you think I should do for a vlog channel like name wise and also let me know what you've been loving this month because I haven't been to Sephora in a while and I kind of feel like I need to go. So let me know what you guys have been loving. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!